In this video, I'm going to be ranking who I think are the top 10 most powerful Olympians. Keep in mind, this isn't really based on Greek mythology, but rather what we've seen each Olympian do in the Percy Jackson series. I say this every top 10 video, but this is only my opinion, so it's totally okay if you disagree. Anyways, let's get started. I think if this were a top 10 most liked Olympians video, she'd rank in just the same place. Hera hasn't really done anything crazy in the books. In the Battle of the Labyrinth, she uses her powers to guide Percy, Annabeth, Grover, and Tyson by conjuring them food, and guiding Percy's arrow, allowing him to kill Gyron. Other than that, not much but I think that it's in the Heroes of Olympus where Hera really shines. She orchestrated pretty much everything. She quote-unquote prepared Leo for his destiny by disguising herself as Tia Kalita, throwing him in a fireplace, giving him a rattlesnake, and some other things. She did the whole Percy-Jason swap, and it was her plan to unite the Greek and Roman demigods, while the other Olympians were hiding away on Olympus. We've seen Hera use her divine form in The Lost Hero, and in Percy Jackson's Greek Gods, we've seen her control animals, shapeshift, and possess mortals. Hermes is the god of a lot. Travel, thievery, trade, language, writing, and many other things. Luke once described children of Hermes as a jack of all trades. As a messenger of the gods, Hermes is extremely fast. He's the god of thievery, which of course makes him an expert at stealing, even from other Olympians, like when he stole Apollo's cattle in Percy Jackson's Greek Gods. Also in Percy Jackson's Greek Gods, we see Hermes demonstrate his super strength, swordsmanship skills, the fact that he can teleport, and more. It's also important to note that he can go back and forth to any realm, including the underworld without permission. I don't think there's much to say about Ares. Maybe in Greek mythology, he's super cool and powerful, but in Percy Jackson, he's just not. On top of being a terrible father, which is perfectly demonstrated by his interactions with Clarice in the Sea of Monsters, he also got beat by a 12-year-old Percy. A Percy who was still learning and discovering his powers. I'm sorry, but if a fresh cadet of a demigod managed to beat the war god, he just doesn't deserve to be ranked higher on the list. Athena is, of course, the goddess of wisdom and war. She's extremely smart, strategic, and is always coming up with new plans and ideas. Athena is also the goddess of crafts, as seen when Annabeth managed to weave a makeshift bridge in minutes in the Mark of Athena. As a goddess of war, Athena is very skilled in all types of combat with all types of weapons. In the Titan's Curse, we see Artemis hold the weight of the sky for some time, as well as fight the Titan general Atlas, whom Percy and Annabeth were no match for. She's incredibly good at archery, as well as hunting and combat strategy, and she can even transform people into constellations like she did with Zoe. As the leader of the Hunters of Artemis, she of course can grant immortality, immunity to sickness, and amazing hunting skills. We've also seen her shapeshift during her battle against Atlas, turning into a tiger, a falcon, a gazelle, and a bear. Hephaestus is known as the blacksmith of the gods, and he's built some pretty crazy things. He's built traps that can capture gods as seen in the lightning thief, a variety of different machines, and in Percy Jackson's Greek gods, his forgery skills were said to be better than even the elder Cyclops. On top of that, Hephaestus is the god of fire, as seen when some of his demigod children like Leo gained fire immunity and the power to control and summon fire. Apollo is one of my favorite Olympians, and is kind of a jack of all trades like Hermes. He's the god of the sun, archery, music, poetry, plagues, and prophecy. He has superhuman strength, and in Percy Jackson's Greek Gods, it was mentioned that he beat Ares in a boxing match and battled Hercules. As expected, his archery is incredible, as well as his musical ability, both shown in the Trials of Apollo. He can conjure plagues, control light, see into the future, teleport, shapeshift, grant immortality, and more. I know, I know, you all expected Zeus to be first, but remember, this is based on Percy Jackson, and everyone hates Zeus and Percy Jackson. Still, he's very powerful. Being the father of Hercules and all, he's super strong and a very strong warrior. Zeus can also control the weather, which should be expected of the Lord of the Sky. He can create thunderstorms, tornadoes, hurricanes, and many more. He can also control lightning and wind. His major weapon, which the entire plot of the Lightning Thief was based on, is his Master Bolt, which is said to be the most powerful weapon in the world. As one of the big three gods, it's no surprise that Hades is powerful. He has full control over the earth and all of its wealth, can navigate underground exceptionally well, and can even create earthquakes. As lord of the underworld, he controls all of the deceased. He can trap and release souls like he did with Sally Jackson, shadow travel, sense when someone is dying, and reanimate the dead. Basically, any power Nico has, Hades has too, but just much more powerful. He also commands a huge army of the dead, which we saw when he showed up in the last Olympian to fight Kronos. And lastly, he has this helm of darkness which can radiate terror and sometimes even death. 
Yes, it's only right that the father of the most powerful demigod takes the number one spot. Poseidon is the lord of the sea, which gives him pretty much any power you can think of relating to water. He also has full authority over all sea creatures and all types of horses. Being known as the earth shaker, Poseidon can create earthquakes. He can also create hurricanes and summon lightning to an extent, though nowhere near the level that Zeus can. We've seen Poseidon go head to head with Oceanus, and he was the only reason the Olympians defeated Typhon. So yeah, that was my ranking of the top 10 most powerful Olympians in Percy Jackson. If you disagree with anything on my list, feel free to comment on what you disagree on and why. Anyways, thanks a ton for watching, and I'll see you all next time.